What's up, people? If you just got the brand new M1 Mac Mini and you can't get it to work with your ultra wide monitor, I'm gonna show you how to get it working right after this. What's up, people? If you're new to the channel, I'm Kedrick Foster. I do unboxings and reviews of all the latest tech. So if you like that type of content, hit that like and that subscribe button. So I recently purchased the brand new M1 Mac Mini, but when I brought it home, I was not getting the full resolution on my ultra wide monitor. Now I tried a few things and none of it would work. So I tried to go into the settings, that didn't work. I tried a different cord, I actually tried a USB type C to a display port. I tried an HDMI cable and none of those cables work. So the work around that we have to do, there's actually two steps you have to do. Now this is a temporary, in my opinion, a temporary fix until Apple um, updates the software where it will recognize the monitor natively, but there's a work around. So let me take you over to the computer screen and show you what we got to do. All right, so the first thing we need to do is go on this website and download a program called Switch Res X. Now, I let you know up front, it costs $14, but you can get a 10 day free trial just to make sure it works for you. And after that, it's like just a, a flat fee of like 14 bucks. So like I, right now I'm still on my, my free 10 days because I'm also still looking for other ways to get this working. If you have already figured out how to do this, please drop that down in the comment section because I need it myself. But for now, we're going to do this workaround. So you're going to go ahead and download the program. I've already did this, but I'm just going to show you where you go. Um, hit download. And you just want to tr try it out for free. And if you can see right here, is the download link. I'm not gonna hit it because it's gonna download again on my computer. But you click right there to download the program. So after you finish downloading the program, your second step is you need to enroll in the Apple Beta program. Now, when you enrolling in this Apple Beta program, it's basically gonna sign you up to where you get all the new updates before everybody else. Um, while they're pretty much testing them out. Now, some people may not want to do this, but like I said, this is the only way right now. So, all right, so I went into the Google search. I typed in Apple beta software program. Um, make sure you go into the Apple site and you go here and you go to sign up. So when you go to sign up, you're gonna have to sign in with your Apple login and all of that information. Once you finish that, it's going to install the latest version of Big Sur on your computer. Like I said, I've already done all that. So go ahead and do that and then come back to me. All right, so once you have everything downloaded and installed on your computer, I forgot to mention this, you probably noticed already, but that install is gonna take about 30 to 40 minutes. So. But after everything is downloaded, you're gonna come to the program. So I'm gonna go to my launch pad. I'm gonna to go to system preferences. And then you'll see the program here, Switch Res X. So once you click on that, you'll see on the left-hand side of the program, you'll see your, all your displays displayed right here. We're gonna click on this. And now it's showing me all the available resolutions that you can use. Now, normally, let me back out of this for a second. So before you had this um, installed, this displays is your only option. And as you can see here, it's only giving me 1280 by 1024 is my max available resolution. Now this monitor can go up to 3840 by 1440 but that's not coming up anywhere even if I go to default for display 
you see what it looks like that way so that's definitely not what I want so when I did that it stopped my screen record but now we back so so now you see the other way I didn't have all the options but now if you can look at it let me see if I can make this any bigger yeah so now you see I look at it and I have all of these options and I have the 3440 by 1440 and that is at 100 hertz and my aspect ratio is 21 by 9 so that's how you do it now you can't actually see how wide my screen is because I, I have it cropped so you can it'll fit on your screen but this is actually an ultra wide if you can see see this is this uh, highlighted part of the screen is the part you can see because that's what the screen is recording um, but let me go ahead and stop the screen recording so you can see the the uh, full size of the screen and there you have it I have the full aspect ratio that it was meant to be now Apple hopefully will update the software to where we don't need to use this workaround but for now this is all we got now if you know there's another way please share the information and I'll share it with everybody else but for now that's all I have for y'all if you have any questions about how to install this and get it up and running just drop them down in the comments and I'll try to get to every question until then I see y'all the next time thanks for watching peace out